What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. It may possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Living experience. Cliche good day, folks, and welcome to World in a Jar. Episode one. Yay! I'm doing a few survivals at the moment. And this one I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. I've just started my Skyblock series, but uh, who's to say I can't have this as a survival going on at the same time? So no dilly-dally, uh, and let's get into it. So look at this. So World in a Jar by GT Awesome Sauce. Sweet. Let's have a look and see what we've got in our ender chest. Oh, we have a sign. So here's 1.3. Okay. I don't know why that's there. We've got signs. Please go up. Pumpkin. That's a good start. Um, I'm just going to chuck that in there for now because I'm going to need some wood. I'm going to get all of this for the seedies. Lovely. Now there are achievements or um, expectations for this server. Uh, everything from building a cobblestone generator to creating a, well, sugarcane farm. Does this count? <laughs> I'll do a proper one, maybe in another world. Um, and what else is there? Like having having different farms and stuff like that. So I think for uh, today's episode, with all those spiders, where the heck are they coming from? Um, I think, I mean, the best thing to do in today's episode would basically just be survive. And we'll start getting into the quests and achievements for World in a Jar in the next episode. I'll probably, like my regular survival series, I'll probably upload one of these a week. But if it ends up being like Skyblocks and I start getting really excited about it, um, it might be one a day. So, my uh, a lot of my Minecraft buddies at the moment are going through the trials and tribulations of end of year studies. So, let's just chuck some of this stuff in here. I'm going to keep three of them, I reckon. So, there's going to be a lot of solo play on my behalf um, at the moment. Just until they've done their studies, I'm not going to pull them away from that. Because that's just wrong. Uh, what am I going to need most? A shovel and a pick. I think. I think. Um, okay. I'm actually not going to disturb these leaves. I'm going to. I'm going to let them come down naturally, just in case. Because I reckon there's a higher chance of getting stuff. Wait, give me that back. If you do it naturally, uh, I might go over here. As I say that, I take these down. Ha, oh, big fat liar. So I'm going to start digging away, and until I find something fantastic, uh, I will come back to you. All right, as you can see, I found some iron here, so I'm just going to quickly smelt that down. I'm guessing there may be a semi-abundance of resources uh, in this, which will be great. Uh, oh, good, two... Two torches, which makes eight, will do for now. Because um, I, I don't want to have uh, any mobs spawning in here. Okay. All right. <gasps> Diamonds! Oh, more diamonds. Yeah, this, that, that's got to be some good resources. <gasps> Moth, that's a spawner. That's why the spiders won't shut up. Don't. Oh, well, that's good timing. That iron will be smelted and I will be able to get the diamonds. Yay. Nice. Did I pick up any more? I thought I got gold. <gasps> Oh, did I need... No, I would have needed a silly carrot. I would have needed a, um, an iron pick to get the gold. I've just lost a resource. That's no fair. All right. Uh, I'm just going to use... I'm going to need a hose, so I'll just use stone because I don't care. 
um, um, sword. Uh, what's more important, a shovel or a... Uh, let's shovel it up. And then I can use that in the furnace. But for the moment, I won't need that or that. Except one more of those, just in case. And I don't need the cobble for the moment either. Uh, where'd I put those seeds? There they are. Okay. Let's just dig out some more area here for our wheat farm. Okay, so we've got uh, a little bit of a sugarcane farm, some missing bits, I'll go sort that out. A little bit of wheat and some pumpkin. I've got the trees in, it's a bit flatter, looks a bit prettier. I've no idea what I'm supposed to do with a big jar of water. <laughs> I've got water here. Um, okay, so let's get those diamonds. safe. Oops, I missed. Yay. Oh, and there's a chest. Of course there's a chest. Oh, nice. Oh, well, there's the string. I wonder if I can destroy it. Feathers, I'm guessing the arrows are going to be needed for something. I can make myself some bread now. That's great. I'm also going to steal this chest. <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave that. Still no tree. Oh, we've got... What have we got? Let's do some more pumpkins there. we got some melons. That's cool. It's not really going to... I hate it when they grow and they squish the other pieces of soil that I've tilled. And let's put some of this stuff away. Diamond's definitely going away. Some sand will come in handy. I need some more wood. 
so the coal can go away for now. I'll smelt that, get rid of the cobble, that, that, that I'm going to put out. Don't need the gold. Might make some bread. Get rid of that one then. Smelt that. Boom, boom. Nice. Okay. So you can go in there. I should have used, dang, I should have used my spade, shouldn't I? It's a bit silly. All right. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, the one thing I did mean to uh, mean to mention as well with this mini game, uh, with this little little map here, that the main goal is that on in each jar there's a piece of sponge, um, and you have to find I don't know how many jars there are, but that many sponge bits. <laughs> And that's my cue. That's my cue. Let's go upstairs and do some stoof. So I found some more iron there. So let's get that smelted, shall we? Oh, I need a. I never placed another torch down. Silly, but let's get rid of some of this. I'm gonna need one there too. Get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. You can go there. Um, I might as well use this one now. While I'm waiting, oh no, I can't really, can I? Because I need torches. I was going to say while I'm waiting, I might start building my home out here. Because that is another quest. Uh, I do remember seeing that is you do need to build the house. Uh, but I'm going to need some wood. Maybe I should plant some more saplings. I mean, I've only got two more of each, so. Um, I just don't know if they'll grow so close. Oh no, not there, because I want the melons to, to sprout. Um, maybe there? At least that doubles my chances of, of getting at least one tree. So I might just cut this away uh, and wait for things to smelt and trees to grow. Okay, guys, I'm going to say good night, goodbye and good night for now. You can see two of my oak have sprouted behind me and not much else, but that's all right. While I was waiting for those and quickly paused, I did jump out here and start my little platform for my new house.
so yeah we will, we'll call it quits for the day hopefully by the time we come back the birch will have grown I'm gonna lop these down and start my little house and orchard my apple orchard out this way okay that was my bite so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of world in a jar I did um, I know I did say that I was probably gonna go until I got the sponge but I think that was a little over ambitious so um, remember to subscribe like Leave a comment down below. Any suggestions if you guys have played World in a Jar before and I've missed out on something or I'm not doing something I should be or I'm doing something that you hadn't thought of, which I doubt, um, as the sun sets. Isn't that lovely? And look at the piggies. So, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.